Hi, everyone. Um, I thought I'd hop on and do another short one because everything has obviously gone crazy with the Christian Henson story. Uh, just for people who are catching up, um, I did a video a few days ago explaining why Stuart Lee is lying to his audience uh, by pretending cancel culture doesn't exist. And Christian Henson uh, kind of uh, retweeted the video. He is a composer of Inside Number Nine, Top Gear, and uh, runs a studio called Spitfire, I think. Um, I think it's some sort of sound bank. Uh, of course, the next, the next day after he tweeted this concern for autistic children um, uh, who are uh, hugely overrepresented uh, in trans diagnoses, diagnoses um, uh, he was immediately set upon by Guardian readers, Stuart Lee fans, and every other idiot who uh, who, do, who who doesn't realize what's going on here. Um, he's now deleted his tweet, possibly his account, I'm not sure. And he uh, he his boss at Spitfire or his his co-founder of Spitfire wrote a disgusting statement throwing him under the bus, uh, for which he's being rightly monstered at the moment. Uh, I just want to say one quick thing about the, some of the responses to the original video. One thing that was very funny about it was that there were a lot of people underneath uh, underneath Christian's tweet saying, where is this 1,000 families story come from, you know? And uh, you realize when you're, when, you know, we're all in our little bubbles and we realize that uh, that some things don't travel outside. But 1,000 si families suing the Tavistock should have traveled outside. Uh, the bubble that these Stuart Lee fans are in and these Guardian readers. But of course, they read The Guardian, so they probably don't know about it. The Guardian does not report on trans issues unless it's to uh, cast women as bigots, lie about uh, the implications of self-ID and, uh, you know, run stories like I wear a jockstrap to work and it's helping, you know. So, um you know, The Guardian is just basically not a good source for any of these stories. The Guardian three times tried to pretend that the Wee Spa uh, incident was a hoax. I don't know if you remember the Wee Spa, but the Wee Spa was when a woman complained about a man in the uh, women's changing rooms. The woman was called a bigot and um, uh, told, you know, told she was a liar and a, a bloke with a with a hipster moustache. Uh, told her she was being a dick because it was probably a transgender woman. No, he said, he actually said, it. he said it was a trans transgender woman. And the guy turned out to be a sex offender, <laughs> you know, a wanted sex offender who I believe has been charged. So uh, the Guardian reported on this story three times and each time they called it a hoax. And even when it was found out not to be a hoax, they called the woman who reported it anti-transphobic. So this is a men's rights movement. It's a men's sexual rights movement. And somehow, through a combination of credulousness and, and all sorts of other, other things, the left is now supporting it in the form of people like Owen Jones, The Guardian, and Stuart Lee. Um, so uh, I just wanted, again, to address this final um, thing to Stuart Lee, because once again, he, uh, it's been shown that he is lying to his audience by saying there's no such thing as cancel culture. And once again, with Christian, it proves that, um, you know, it's not people who are famous or millionaires or, uh, or anything like that. I'm certainly not a millionaire. I'm not even a thousand there. Well, no, I'm a thousand there at the moment, but, uh, but money's running out. Uh, I haven't had work since I started talking about this. The only money I get comes from the substack. But Christian is in, in, in an even worse position. He just did one tweet where he said, I'm worried about the autistic children, you know, and he talked about the, the uh, Tavistock uh, being sued. Again, something almost all these commentators had not heard of, you know. So basically, you've got one side of the conversation who's acting on nothing, hunches, whereas you've got the other side, our side, that actually knows what's going on. So now that all this information has come to light, I will say again, Stuart Lee, will you defend uh, Christian Henson's freedom of speech? Will you defend mine and J.K. Rowling's freedom of speech? Will you sign the uh, petition we have that uh, criticizes 
and shows solidarity with JK, or sorry, that criticizes um, the people sending her abuse and shows solidarity with JK Rowling. After all, once again, these are death and rape threats, Stuart Lee. Stuart Lee, who pretends he doesn't see these videos, who pretends he can't read, who, who, who does everything he can to avoid, you know, actually getting to grips with this issue. So will you do that, Stuart Lee? Will you do any anything uh, to defend freedom of speech in the UK? Uh, I doubt it, but I think I'll do keep doing short little videos like this just to put the questions out there because the last one went so well. Um, uh, yeah, and the other thing is we've got a um, we've got a mess we're in tonight at six pm. So I'm just setting that up now, and I'll see you there tonight with Artie and Helen. All right, bye bye.